community to the Single on Stiletto show. I'm Suzanne Oshima, and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette, and I'm also the founder of Single on Stilettos. Today we have on our show Thomas Edwards Jr., and he's a professional wingman at theprofessionalwingman.com. And I'm so excited to have him here today because he gives women awesome advice. And today we're talking about when you first start dating a guy, how can you really tell if he likes you? But before we get into the topic, Thomas, I would love for you to tell our audience, what is a professional wingman? Because whenever I tell people about you, they're like, well, what does that mean? What does he do? So when you go out with women, how do you help them meet men? So the idea is we go out with you and we see in real time what's preventing you from actually meeting the quality guys that you're looking for. And we give you real time advice. And so if it's body language, maybe it's how you're speaking with them, maybe it's the places that you're going. It could be as something as simple as where you're standing that's not allowing you to meet the guys you're looking for. We find those points and we fix them for you. That's awesome because when you, when a woman goes out, you know, it's true. You don't know exactly what you're doing wrong. So to get advice in real time is, is amazing. And it, it kind of puts people on the spot too because I know when I give advice to some of my clients, they don't implement it. So you put them on the spot and you're like, okay, now go do it, right? And I'm sure you get yeah. a little bit of resistance where they're like, no, 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 I don't want to do it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about it is when you work on it right away and you see the results, then you're like, wow, like I can actually keep doing this. And it really drives the development and it gets better for you. So I mean, we've helped tons of people improve their dating lives through just going out with them and, and showing them in the wild, so to speak, of, of how to actually meet these quality guys and where they are. That's awesome. So let's get into the topic. What are some signs a woman can look out for that really tell her that a guy likes her? Because I hear all the time from women on by the second date or maybe the third date even, they, they just can't tell because the guy hasn't kissed him, he, has, he hasn't touched her, anything. So she doesn't know. So I say the first thing, which I think is very, very important, I think a lot of women uh, neglect this, this one key area, is follow through. Guys will talk a good game and they'll seem really nice and they'll say a few things but you have to make sure that they actually do the things that they say they will. So for example, something as simple as saying I'll call you tomorrow and him calling you tomorrow is proof that he actually is interested in you. So guys who actually do what they say is something that's very, very important but widely neglected. Right. And you know, I hear that too is that yeah, exactly. Their actions have to match what they're saying. So if they're saying a lot of things and they're just not following through, that's a red flag, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Uh, I, would, I, would say this, I would say the second one is nervousness. If a guy is actually nervous around you, he makes you know clumsy mistakes such as like fumbling things in his hand or playing with his straw in, you know, in his drink or... Maybe he'll say something that he didn't necessarily mean to say. And he'll he'll act a little shy about it. I mean, these are things that will tell you that he's actually in, interested in you because he's consciously thinking about not screwing it up. I think that's a definitive sign of showing you know that a guy is actually into you. Now, what if because I've I've seen that where a guy is really nervous and. What if a guy, though, is not making eye contact with a woman and she's just like, I can't, I don't understand why he's not looking at me. I think I'm attracted, but he's just not <laughs> making eye contact. So what can a woman do? Well, there's two sides of that. I mean, if a guy is constantly looking down mm -hmm. and you see his body language showing signs of nervousness, it's typically because he's shy, right? right. He's probably thinking, wow, this, this woman's gorgeous. I, I mean, I don't even know what to do with myself. But... If he's talking with you and at certain moments he's looking down, that could be a sign of deception where he might actually not be telling the truth. And so it's really important to understand when those those moments happen. That That's a really good sign to look out for, ladies. So uh, <laughs> I know every woman's going to be out on a date and she's going to be like, where's where's Zai's going? So what's another tip that she can look out for? I think somebody that's pretty commonplace is a guy who thinks – of the future with you and so if he's making plans thinking ahead of things he wants to do with you or he hints at things that he might want to do with you next week or next month I think it's a good sign because he's thinking ahead he's thinking wow I see this thing that I want to do and I want to do that with you and a lot of guys who it'll actually happen naturally for a lot of guys the guy really enjoys your company and wants to see you again he will actually just randomly talk about 
oh, there's this amazing place I would love to check out. We should check it out next week. Yeah, it, and I think that's a really great point. But now, what about the guy that keeps contacting her, but he never mentions, like, future plans like you had just mentioned? And he always just contacts her every couple of weeks, because I know this has happened to every woman. He contacts her every couple of weeks with a text like, hey, what's up? What are you doing this week? Does that mean he's he's just, like, playing the field, or what does that mean? It may not necessarily mean he's playing the field per se, but you're not you're not high on his priority list. I mean, let's just face it. You know, a guy who wants to see you consistently will continue to communicate with you regularly. Uh, I think in I think in this particular case, he does enjoy seeing you, but not enough where he wants to see you all the time. Maybe just every couple of weeks, and it could be for a variety of reasons. It could be because the schedule is busy. It could be because he is playing the field. It could be that he's not interested in in, in developing. Uh, a, more, a closer relationship with you, but at any given sense, you know, it's up to you to decide whether or not you are okay with that, or if you're looking for something more than that. So, how can a woman bring that up to a guy that she thinks may be playing the field and that she's not a top priority? How can she really figure it out if she's not sure without like blatantly asking him? Because I think well, that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, no, totally right. Like, you don't want to call him out and be like, "Why are you only contacting me every couple of weeks?" Right. It makes for a very awkward scene. But I would say try to make plans with him. Find out what he's up to this weekend or the next few days and try to say, hey, like, there's this cool concert, this cool, like, concert that I wanted to check out. Like, I would love for you to come with me and see what he, see what he says, you know? If he responds on oh, business weekend but doesn't provide an alternative to a date, then that might be a sign that he, that he probably just doesn't want to see that regularly. Great. So what's another tip that a woman can look out for? Cool. Um, I would say proximity. So what I mean by proximity, I mean by just physical closeness. Uh, over a period of, of, of dates, depending on how comfortable a guy is uh, physically uh, with a woman, he will continue to get closer and closer and closer and closer. Now, if it reaches a point where you haven't kissed or have any type of physical contact beyond just like a hug or a kiss on the cheek, that might be a sign that He's either not sexual as, as a person, or he might not just be interested in, he might be interested in you as a companion, but more towards a friend, not a romantic partner. Or if he's really shy, she needs to send him to you to get some work done and get some <laughs> tips on how to hit on, on a woman that he's dating, right? Absolutely. And I, I imagine that most women who are listening to, to this would want a guy who actually is a, confident enough to be physically aggressive in some way with a woman to really escalate that romance. Awesome. Well, these have been some amazing tips. Thomas, thanks so much for being on the show, and thanks, everybody, for joining us. If you would like to get our videos, you can go to singleonstilettos.com and view the videos, and if you would like to get the podcast, you can go to iTunes and download it from there. And if you would like to get our free report on the top 10 secrets on what attracts a man and what turns him off, you can click right here on the video, or you can go to singleonstilettos.com.